Coach McDonald, what are the general prospects for the University of Virginia football team this fall? Yeah, I think our prospects are much better than they have been the last couple of years. Uh, we have depth in the line and depth in the backfield. It'll help us uh, to no end. Well, now on this trip that the sports writers have been taking around the Atlantic Coast Conference, we've heard a lot of comment about Jim Bakhtiar, your sophomore fullback. He's had an awful lot of publicity. How do you feel about him? Well, Ed, uh, I say if desire will cause uh, Jim to be a great football player, well, he certainly has it. He's a great boy to coach. He's well liked by his teammates. And it seems though with all this publicity, it has had no effect on Jim out on the practice field. Well, now you play a 10-game schedule this year, Coach. Uh, what team or teams do you feel will be your toughest competition? Of course, uh, of course, uh, here in the state it would be uh, VPI, but we think our toughest game right now will be Clemson. And that game will be coming up in about 10 days. Uh, what uh, work do you have cut out for you between now and then? Well, uh, of course, we've been working mostly on offense, and uh, we are not satisfied with our offense. But we feel right now that our offense is ahead of our defense in the next 10 to 13 days. Well, we're going to have to brush up on our defense. Final question, Coach. How about your quarterback? Who, who do you think that will be now? Well, Ed, if we were starting a game tomorrow, it would be Reeves Bailey. He's our senior. He has uh, more savvy, and... Uh, and I think it's with uh, Bill Brigman here, working with him as a quarterback coach, he has had a lot of effect on his thinking ability. Well, overall, are you and your coaching staff fairly optimistic about the coming season? We know that we have a better chance than we did last year. Coach McDonald, I want to wish you, your staff, and the football team the best of luck during this 1955 season. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ed.